Hi, I'm Carrie Young, KJZZ's education reporter. And I'm PC Kuhn. I actually started the ongoing series called Inside Arizona Classrooms. It's sort of a look past the politics and into the classroom to see how teachers are faring in Arizona. Um, today we've teamed up to talk to you about the challenges that come with teaching non-English speaking students. Um, and I spoke to a kindergarten teacher in Buckeye. Every year she gets a new crop of five-year-olds that only speak Spanish and she still has to teach them how to speak English, how to learn their letters, things like that. So she's actually the only one now in that rural school that that specializes in uh, English language learners, which is also called ELL. You'll hear that a lot. So, um, and when I reported on this piece, I was really surprised to hear how common this was in Arizona. When I started digging into the data, it was really surprising too, especially when you break down the numbers. In fact, you can see a real drop off in ELL instructors since 2008, and that hasn't really recovered. We also took a look at the ELL students' experience in high school. Uh, and you know, Carrie, I was really surprised to hear just how many hours and how many classes it takes just to graduate from high school if you're a non-English speaker. Yeah, that really surprised me too as I was doing reporting on this story, which I really got the idea for when I saw a statistic that about 20% of Arizona high school ELL students graduate each year. When you compare us to other states, that puts us around last. So the more I looked into this, the more I asked questions, the more I found that this had to do with something known as the four-hour model, which if you're a high school student and you want a shot at graduating on time or even just before you age out of the system, it's going to take a lot of extra work with uh, evening classes, summer school, just to get the credits that you need to graduate. Now, there have been some changes. Uh, Arizona education officials did institute what they've called refinements that high schools can opt into. And that means, among many things, that if you're at the intermediate level, you can reduce your hours to two uh, per day as opposed to four. And it's only been in use for about a couple years, so I'd be interested in looking those numbers, and uh, we'll report back when we find out some of those trends. If you're interested in finding out more, check out our story at kjzz.org. And if you have any questions or feedback for us, um, please feel free to tweet at us or uh, send us an email. Thanks.